tickle, 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 No covered calls today. I just need 400 packs <laughs> if this lasts till open. We'll see. I'm not going to get excited about that part yet. Impact of this on OPEX. Well, the tips crossed in after hours. So that's a good sign. Um, basically, all of the call options on GME just went in the money. So the market maker is going to have a little bit of an issue to deal with there. We'll see what they can get it back down to before open. I'm sure the basket's going ape shit. Yeah, actually, it's not really. Express up a little bit, Bobby up a little bit, AMC up 2%. I mean, Jimmy's up 32% right now. I don't really see anything else in the basket ripping hard. What about like Koss? Sava's not really doing a lot. Nordstrom's Macy's just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be presenting too much pressure on the rest of the basket. A tiny bit, but not, it's not crazy. Positive eps cost up 6.5 cost is a weird one where do you think we'll be going into fomc oh that was earlier okay yes let us well cash flow remained positive eps is a positive which there was a slim chance at positive eps they had to beat on net sales they had to get inventory down and they had to drive down sgna and they managed to accomplish all three goals uh actually beating holiday sales from quarter four 2022 which means that they beat consumer expectations for december sales uh which is very impressive i mean everything came together together we got positive eps uh positive cash flow and cash equivalents are at 1.4 almost 1.4 billion shirt off on forward guidance no They're, well they could do forward guidance at this call they may not um generally two quarters one or two quarters of positive eps would lead to forward guidance hopefully we see some institutional interest eh, yeah that'll be we'll, we'll see Maybe not right away. What's your PT for Jimmy now? And we're almost, I mean, we got to see where Gamma Max is. Even our Gamma Max update. Well, maybe, maybe we'll have some of the after hours information if we do it later tonight. Gamma Max might be lagging into tomorrow though, because uh, we've moved so far up the options chain. I, I don't know where Gamma, I mean, I, ideally this prompts call buying tomorrow and that would drive prices higher and gamma max higher there's no way wall street bets doesn't notice this right i mean iv will definitely be elevated tomorrow uh i i don't know what gm's gonna move to um we haven't broken gamma max yet well just a little bit i guess we did we're just at gamma max right now so Gamma Max can still move up tomorrow as if more call interest comes in uh, out of the money. The volatility shorts are probably kind of sad right now, huh? Well, they're going to be sad when they have to peel back all the calls they sold today that are now in the money. Shouldn't have sold them at 20. I don't know what they were thinking. I say Jimmy to 40 at this point. It's possible. We, we have to see what happens with call interest tomorrow. If call interest tomorrow picks up, I mean, we've seen Gamma Max on previous runs move anywhere from like four to eight dollars. Uh, like in March 2022, it moved up eight dollars after the initial test of Gamma Max. So, if that's the case, let's say let's say we don't see as much of that because macro conditions aren't as good now. But let's say we see a move of like 
like four, right? That puts us at, you know, 28. And so we might see like 32, 32, 35 on the high end is possible. Earnings such as this during a round in OPEX, please say things that relate to this. <laughs> um, it, it could be very significant. We'll see. Uh, we gotta see we gotta see how much op options interest going into close today on the like long side was uh, not great. So um if this forces interest into even weekly options, then Gamma Max can move up quite a lot. How much of this profit is related to store closures, fulfillment center shuttering, and layoffs? Oh, I would say a decent amount, but they moved the inventory, um, so that's good. Separately, how much is related to IMX announcing future of gaming with Polygon? I heard we're in the future. I'm picking up my Tron bike now. Did you call IMX out for being a bunch of frauds on Twitter again? No DRS numbers, shill. <laughs> RU isn't real if it's not built on a foundation of DRS. Oh, shut the fuck up, JC. The full free cash flow is 52.3 million, according to the 8K. The full year free cash flow is positive 52.3. Can you just humor me and check net sales for last year? I think it's wrong on the screen. Okay, I, I, that's quarter four 2022. Um, I don't, that's what it says in their 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 report the earnings release says 2.26 billion compared to 2.254 billion in the prior year's fourth quarter so unless they their their earnings release is wrong which i mean i guess it's possible but that would be embarrassing i mean it's it's right there obligations need covered from opex they do um I mean, they started covering them right away at close, right? Like, liquidity picked up a bunch uh, already in after hours, but there's uh, more. Uh, I, I kind of already, I already pointed out the tips, but yeah, um, tips just crossed. So, I mean, we obviously have fairly significant amount of room to move, especially if you compare it to like, you know, March OPEX or something, right? Uh, even May, I mean, we or August, we, we we still have a ton of liquidity to to realize here. So yeah, I mean like you know, this is this is March OPEX. That's May OPEX. August is there. You know, I mean even 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 August would still be in. There's a decent amount of upside still to be realized. How many more times can we get Girk to say the tips have just crossed? It's it's important, and it all pretty much happened in after hours. Like if we look where they were b before after hours opened, right? They were still they were still back here. So a lot of a lot of liquidity realization already. Um, remember that as this moves more downwards, the the effect of volume on price uh, reduces. So this this initial pump, you know, on very very low volume, has a more dramatic effect on price than uh, later volume will have. What are the chances we see a cash dividend? Uh, unlikely. That would be not in their best interest. Not yet. Maybe maybe several quarters of positive EPS and positive free cash flow. Um, and you know, like they don't. One point four billion is not a huge war chest. Uh, so they can build up their cash, cash and cash equivalents quite a bit more. We can see more quarters of positive EPS, uh, and then a dividend could be something that they would consider. Here's the problem, and and you know everyone who's still owns GME at this point, you know, two years later, you know, you're you're in it for growth, not not for you know. Uh, dividend accumulation so a dividend is not ideal it's not in the best interests of the current group of shareholders right we want to see gme grow we want to see it move more into e-commerce you know we want we want uh acquisitions and dividends preclude those things so you're going to consider doing in the money ccs now when this run is done you could only sell so many cover calls in the money but sure some you want growth. You want GME to take that money and you want them to pump it into the company. 
right? How far to sell in the money if I want to keep it conservative with a $39 cost basis? Also, I picked up a bunch of July 20 Cs. Uh, I mean, take what you can get. Don't take too much risk selling in the money. You know, we're not above Gamma Max right now. And, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to sell much further below Gamma Max, right? First of all, there's no liquidity. If the stock is trading at like, you know, $25 and you're trying to sell $15 calls, there's, there's no one buying these, right? And, and the people that are buying them are going to want to buy them at a discount, uh, which means that you can get exercised immediately. So, you know, if, if we're trading above Gamma Max, say this is GM. You know, we're trading up here at like 30, you know, right? And GM's at like 25. The GM is unsustainable at this price, right? Um, so, you know, calls at like 25, you know, 22, 20 possible, right? Um, because, you know, the stock is going to pull back down below Gamma Max in, in into the future, right? Selling calls at 15 here, which is going to be, you know, below gamma neutral, uh, is super risky. Uh, sometimes it can take 30 days or longer. We're going to aggressively pursue further cost containment, efficiency, profitability, and pragmatic growth in the categories where we can consistently delight our customers. I'll wrap it up here for today. As always, we appreciate the enthusiasm and support say from our AI. customers, employees, Just once. and stockholders. He didn't say anything about moving forward. It's fine. He has positive EPS, but these bastards making the data speak on their behalf. Shills, I know. Pontificate about possible GME FOMO. We'll see what happens. I mean, people are probably going to buy weeklies. We're currently trading right at Gamma Max. Um, I don't know. Obviously, Gamma Max could have moved up today with more call buying in the early part of today. Um, call buying kind of dwindled off into the late afternoon. Um, I know, and obviously, some calls were probably closed in advance of earnings. There's, yeah, you know, those those people may come back in. Um, so Gamma Max can move up tomorrow, but we're gonna be we're going to be a day behind. Uh, so our, our, our gamma max value is going to be lagging, right? Um, you know, we'll have gamma max from close today, but we won't have gamma max from market open tomorrow. Yeah. No, no mention of DRS, which I, I'm sure it will still be noted in the 10 Q when, when we get that, I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, it's still, it's still materially relevant in their accounting process. So um, we will have information on DRS. I, I I don't know. I guess as soon as we get the 10Q. Is is the 10Q out yet? I can try to find it um, if it is. The 8K is out. Is it in the 8K? No. Yeah, so you have to wait for the 10Q. Do you think they didn't mention DRS because it doesn't matter? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not really... Uh, I, I don't think it's that important, but... Um, I'm I'm sure the value will still be accounted for in the 10Q for everyone panicking about it. Um, it. It doesn't have any effect on the price of the stock. The second time I miss a big round like this, fuck my life and probably getting a sign too. Why did you sell calls before earnings? I don't have covered calls. I wasn't gonna fucking sell covered calls into the into positive potential positive free cash flow and positive EPS. I have I have long calls. I didn't sell any calls who the fuck sells calls on t plus two of opex anyway it was like asking to get drag sex what iv bump can i put into my options profit calculator <laughs> iv will probably be open significantly higher especially if we continue to move up in after hours uh i would say what was iv today o opening like a uh, hundred and 105 or something like that Ivy is probably going to be up around like 130, 140 if, if, if this price persists through pre-market. My option strat DD is finally coming to fruition. Yeah, well, as, as the holder of you know, 700 odd calls on GME that were out of the money, I'm very happy now. What price can we open at tomorrow? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, bullish on GME again. It's, it's a weird feeling, but fuck yeah.